Hi, my name's Tori. Uh, I just recently uh, bought this uh, RV. Uh, it's an older used one, uh, looking to do a few little upgrades, uh, do some projects. Mostly the projects uh, turn out pretty good, enhancements are okay, uh, but occasionally it doesn't always work out as intended. And I do an oops. Uh, so that's why I actually made this video, to show one of those oops moments and uh, what I did to uh, troubleshoot it and uh, follow through. So uh, the uh, issue I had was with the uh, regular RV converter. It's uh, WFCO8955 and uh, I have some problems. So I was uh, back here in my overhead and uh, wiring in uh, just a couple uh, USB plugs, uh, both for charging phones and running a CPAP machine into the bedroom. And I must have touched a hot wire to ground and uh, created my oops. So inside the uh, trailer, <clears throat> here we have the uh, WFCO converter. Uh, like I said, I uh, have an issue now. And as you can see, I have got one uh, little LED uh, lit up, uh, indicating uh, what's supposed to be an open circuit. So it's just a couple screws uh, off the top. The uh, cover pops off and you get into the uh, guts of the converter and you can uh, easily see uh, what all the uh, components are. Uh, the left side uh, has all the AC coming in, uh, the right side has the uh, DC distribution panel, and at the bottom is the uh, converter charger. Alright, so I put my uh, test light uh, lead onto the ground uh, there, and I'm going to go and check these uh, fuses. Now these ones are uh, handy because they have the, uh, if you can see it there, a little bit of conductivity uh, metal. Uh, strip or something on each side of the fuse so you can actually uh, test for uh, for a power so you can see as I test uh, the one side I have power and if I test the other side uh, is it's not now I can go through uh, the other fuses and do this uh, same thing and uh, get it to all light up and on the other side because the fuse is true uh, it's it's a good connection and the circuits closed uh, now I also noticed that I come to this one above and I've also got uh, what looks to be an open circuit now there's only the one LED there uh, but uh, clearly it looks like I have two uh, two fuses uh, that have gone here uh, the next one down I'm all, all okay 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 and okay and okay uh, I got no uh, no issues on my battery polarity fuses, so those are the main ones coming in as well. So you can see I clearly have a problem here with these two uh, fuses. So I popped out the two fuses, uh, definitely uh, both of them were uh, were blown, and uh, now I'm going to, uh, one at a time, uh, put them back in. But before I do, I'm just going to uh, test uh, again here to see what I got. And we can see that uh, we're hot on this side, uh, hot on this side. And this side I got nothing, and on this side I got nothing. And that's what's creating the, uh, the or the open. It's normally open until you put the fuse in. Okay, well, I did find a problem here. Uh, once I've installed the uh, one, one fuse that was uh, gone, uh, we've got uh, this one here. Uh, it's completed its circuit. The uh, little LED's gone out. Uh, but uh, back to the one above that was hot on the one side, it's also now conducting across and it's closed this circuit on the on the one above so that shouldn't be happening it should be uh, only uh, or closed across it if the uh, if the fuse is in place and clearly it's not there so I could have another problem here uh, so uh, something's shorted out on this uh, DC board itself and uh, I'm gonna have to look and uh, see if I can't uh, find the problem well, I don't know if that is the problem, but one thing I can see right off the bat is uh, where they connected the uh, the leads in here. Uh, the way they've got the wires terminated really doesn't look very good, uh, and this is uh, from the factory. So uh, that could be some of the problem. Uh, so this is what I'm going to have to look into this. Uh, first of all, I'll have to disconnect the battery, uh, pull this out, uh, look at this DC board, and uh, try and uh, make some uh, new connections here. Okay, battery disconnected. Okay, now I got my battery uh, disconnected. It's uh, safe to go in here and uh, and do a little bit of uh, 
clean up on these uh, terminations here. Yeah, I still don't know whether this is going to turn out to be the problem, but so many of these wires, the way they were put in, this was just really, really sloppy. Now this uh, this may not solve my problem, but uh, as you can see, the uh, terminations there, I've gone through each one of them, trimmed them all off, and uh, reset them in there. So they're uh, much better than they were. Uh, I don't have any uh, little strands or hairs cutting across from each of the little lug termination or end blocks there. So hopefully it won't uh, get any problems if this is in fact uh, corrected now. And uh, I guess we'll go uh, hook up the battery and uh, we'll come back and uh, test this again. All right. Uh, turn the battery back on. Uh, my LEDs are all off here, indicating uh, bad ones here. So now, if I go in and again, I'll check, and uh, I got hot on the side here, and uh, not on the other, and this side is bad. I got hot on this one here that I replaced. And hot on the bottom side of it. But it's not doing what it was before where it's sending uh, hot to this side. And I don't have my LED on. And I think that may have been caused here by uh, some of these strands uh, reaching across and uh, touching across these uh, lugs here. So I'm hoping that's what it is. I'll have to uh, see as we go. Well, it does appear that uh, everything is uh, working as it should. I've got uh, power here on all of my hot sides. And again, it's uh, now with the uh, fuses in place, I'm also getting the uh, power through so it looks like it's good so uh, anyway I don't know if that uh, will help anyone but uh, hopefully uh, just uh, stepping through it might uh, apply a little bit of logic if you're looking for uh, any any information on these uh, WFCO this uh, world friendship company uh, converters uh, again I guess if uh, if this had not corrected the problem then it's possible that one of the diodes or a resistor or something else has gone and shorted out across and I would have had to uh, replace this DC board now they are available you would not have to replace the whole converter uh, as you can see up underneath uh, here there's a couple little plastic tabs and uh, again one at the bottom just uh, behind here uh, so if you did need to uh, replace that DC panel board you could pop it out and replace it. I think it probably sells for thirty or forty dollars, as opposed to a couple hundred dollars of replacing the uh, the entire converter. Uh, also, uh, many people do replace this uh, the charger converter on the bottom, uh, give you a little bit more voltage. Uh, I may do that yet and throw in a transfer switch as well. Uh, but that's uh, that's the next uh, project, and hopefully uh, we don't get any more oops 